Max Martin from the JX Ranch. This is Scott Hand, the ranch manager. We're today in our loving Texas headquarters, and we've got a terminal breeding operation where we want to produce a high quality commercial calf for the feedlots. And we'd like to have that calf here until he's about 820 pounds. And we'd like to produce a calf that is got high gain capability so we can take them into the feedlot on a good ADG numbers. We'd like that calf to be healthy and we'd like him to be a part of a very uniform load. In order to produce that calf, we're looking for a pretty specific bull. We use commercial red and black Angus cows and we prefer Charlet bulls. We select those bulls on both genetic and non-genetic basis. The genetics we're looking for is, of course, first weight, carcass weight, yearling weight, EPDs we look at. Then we want to look at the ribeye. We'd like a moderate ribeye. We don't like one over 17 uh, inches because you've got to optimize that uh, because of the dressing percentage. But we also don't want to sacrifice marbling. Then the third thing we look at is the marbling EPDs on that bull because we'd like to basically take a calf to the feedlot with a lot of options for that uh, feedlot. We first of all do not put hormones in them so they can determine whether they want to get that program a hormone or not. We would like to also have uh, bulls at least at the top 20% of the marbling. As far as the ribeye EPD and the weight EPD, we would like those to be in the top 10 to 15% of the Charlet uh, database. At the JX, pounds matter, but profit counts.